So you can see I have uh, my multimeter connected. There is no direct voltage supply. I've put the battery aside and I've connected the terminals from the multimeter to this uh, model of a generator. I told that this is exactly how hydroelectric power is generated or how electricity is generated. So here I only have a shaft which I'm going to rotate manually and see if I can get a reading or a voltage. Of course you have already seen the, there's already a voltage here. So I'm rotating the shaft. When, I'm, when I do not rotate the shaft, you see that the reading of the, mic, uh, the multimeter is actually zero. We shall see the, why is the reading zero when I'm not rotating the shaft. But this is a generator. When I, if I can rotate the shaft manually, you notice that there is a reading on the multimeter. And when it stops rotating, the reading goes back to zero. Now you might be wondering, why is that when it is rotating, there is a reading? But when I stop rotating, there is no reading. What happens when I rotate in the opposite direction then? Still there is a reading. However, you must have observed that the reading grows bigger if I rotate further or faster, and the reading is smaller when I rotate slowly. So there is a voltage generated. What does that imply? that if only we can rotate the shaft of the generator, if only we can turn, or if only we can make the turbines to rotate, linked with the generator, turning the coil of wire inside the generator between the pole pieces of magnets will actually generate a voltage. This is exactly how electricity is generated. So the next time you see water running over a turbine, just know it's not magic. But why is it that there is a voltage when I rotate the shaft? And why is it that there is no voltage when I stop rotating the shaft? Now, this takes us to what we call um, Faraday's law. Faraday's law, as we shall advance in physics, we shall see that an EMF or a voltage is only induced when the magnetic flux linkage is changing or is cut. If I don't rotate the shaft, if I don't rotate the coil between the poles of the magnet, the magnetic flux linkage is constant. But when I rotate the coil, it means the coil is cutting the field lines between the poles of the magnet. So there is a change in magnetic flux. An EMF is going to be induced in the wire, in the coil of the wire, which rotates, I mean, which travels, and then it gives a voltage on the multimeter. So that is Faraday's law. For now, we are not looking at Faraday's law. Somebody may be wondering, is it also possible with a simple motor to generate a voltage? Let's check. So I am removing the model, and I want to connect. Um, I want to connect the motor we used before and see can we still come up with the same results? So already you can see. I've just when I rotate the motor, you see it even gives us a very big voltage. You can see. But when I stop rotating, the voltage grows goes back to zero. When I rotate faster, the voltage is very big. The voltage is very big, and then it goes back to zero when it stops rotating. What happens when I rotate in the opposite direction? It still gives a voltage. So I have just mentioned to sum it up that inside this motor there's just a magnet and a coil of wire. When a coil of wire rotates, by rotating the shaft here or the, the rotor here or my propeller here, I'm actually making the wire in the motor to rotate. I'm making the wire in the motor to rotate between four pieces of a magnet. That means the magnetic field lines are being intercepted by the coil. According to Faraday's law, an EMF is induced. And of course, later on, we shall see that the magnitude of the induced EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux. That's me, that is why when I move this faster, the, the EMF induced is very large. But when I move it slowly, the EMF induced is very small. According to Faraday's law, the magnitude of the induced EMF, the size of the induced EMF is directly proportional to the applied voltage. I think 
that is clear for today. Thank you for watching. See you.